Hi, David Allen here, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to sweep. It's easier than you think, it's super useful, it requires some patience and some specific targeted exercises for the left hand mostly. I'll show you all that in the close-up. Grab your guitar, we're going to get started. Seriously, grab your guitar. Here we go. Teeth. No, you say, no sweeping jokes, Dad. No more sweeping Before we get started, for those of you who don't know, sweeping is a technique proper to guitar that allows you to play very fast single notes. Single notes one after the other. So we're not talking about chords, we're talking about single notes. And the movement is a synchronization of two hands. The right hand motion, you already know it. If you're strumming a chord, that's exactly the movement that, you, that is happening with the, the right hand, whether you're strumming it down or up like that. That is the movement for the right hand. The right hand movement is not difficult at all. It's mostly the left hand that is going to do the work. And what differentiates a chord being strum from sweeping is the fact that now in sweeping, each of these notes are going to be heard one note at a time. And for that, you have to mute some strings and you also have to uh, place one finger at a time. You can't rest your fingers thinking that, okay, they're there, so I don't have to do the work, because if you do that, well, they're ringing out. You've got to do it one at a time. And that's what is difficult, because you really have to synchronize both hands. What I discovered is that when people work on sweeping, first of all, they often start with some um, very useful positions, such as the major triad position or the minor triad position, which is cool because they're very musical, but they don't fall on the, the fingers very well, so players concentrate on those shapes instead of the actual mechanical aspect of sweeping, which is what we're going to focus on today because once you have that mechanical aspect, all the rest is going to fall into place. So another thing that I've noticed is that oftentimes the right hand is much stronger than the left in sweeping because the movement of sweep and the right hand is just like that. The kid could do that. So we're going to focus mostly on the left hand and we are going to eliminate some of the problems that you, you might have when we're dealing with shapes such as this one, which is not a super easy shape. So on top of trying to synchronize fingers, we're dealing with the shape. We're going to eliminate that too. We're really going to work on the left hand specifically with simple shapes to get that movement done. And once you have the movement synchronized and up to speed, you can approach any other concept. Here is the, the first shape that I'm going to study. And again, it might not be musical. We don't care about that. We're just doing the movement. It's a three-note sweep. We're going to start this with the low three strings. We'll start on fret number seven. So seven, nine, and 11. A little extension there. And we're going to use the index, ring, and pinky. Okay, that's our shape. And the first thing we're gonna do, and that's I want you to do that with anything that you're working on as far as sweep goes, is to only focus on the left hand. Just the left hand, like that. Now obviously, if I had sound, it's gonna sound, if I add volume, it sounds horrible. That's okay. The right hand will take care of all that, but right now we're really strengthening those fingers making sure that it's very digital type of thing where only one note is um, fretting at, at, at once. So only one note on the fretboard at once. If you get bored of that, you can move across your, your frets like, very much like a piano, like you're tapping something. That's exactly what's happening. We're developing strength in the left hand, which is really important when you're sweeping, I think. If not, you might fake the sweep, but your right hand is gonna be stronger. You're gonna have that fluid movement of the right hand. Your left hand is not gonna follow. That happens a lot, and it sounds very blurry in between. The first note is defined. The last note is defined. Anything in between it is kind of bleh, like that. And that's because you don't have the strength in your left hand. So that's what we're doing here. 
It's the kind of thing you can do in front of the TV or whatever. That's the shape here. Once you're comfortable with the strength and of, of that, um, uh, that exercise, we're going to add the right hand. And um, we're going to actually ascend the sweep. So if we're on 7, 9, 11, we've got that kind of thing. Trying to synchronize both hands, and it should be easier because you have the strength now. And there are two things happening rhythmically at the same time. Those two things need to be locked, and that's that's key. Usually, um, when I see players sweep, they they have this percussive thing on the right hand. The left hand doesn't follow up because of that lack of strength again. Now that we have that strength, basically the percussive thing is you are putting pressure on the, with the, the left hand as you are putting, uh, where you're striking the string with the right. It's a simultaneous movement. That can only happen if you've developed the strength in your left hand. And then it's way easier to synchronize things once you have that strength. We can even ascend that and descend. And that's the sweeping movement. You have it. Simple exercises like that are really going to help you. Here's another one. Similar, this time we're going to use four notes. We're going to use the, the, high, the four high strings, so the D string, the G string, the B string, and the E string. We'll be on seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, you start with developing those muscles and the strength in your left hand. Very digital thing. We're working on rhythm too. It needs to be very, very steady. Regardless of the speed. Okay, and then we can add the right hand. See my right hand, how fluid it is? That's what I'm doing with the right hand. Just like that. It's it's very, very simple for the right hand, and if you have the strength in the left, it's easy. If you reverse that shape, by the way, it becomes very musical. It becomes a major seven arpeggio. So instead of having seven, eight, nine, ten, you have ten, nine, eight, seven. That's a major seven arpeggio. Like that. But that's besides the point. You, you get now the, the importance of developing the strength in the left hand, and that's often forgotten when people learn how to sweep. So my tip is to start with the left hand. No right hand involved. It's going to sound horrible if you're plugged in. So leave your volume down, but that's really going to help you. I promise. And then you develop um, new shapes, and that's where the, the PDF comes in handy and the tabs that I'm about to tell you about. But you practice those shapes without the right hand, just the left hand. That's the most important thing, I think. The hardest part is the left hand, developing that strength. The right hand will follow. No sweeping jokes, Dad. <laughs> Let's try it again, okay? Thank you for watching this video. If you want to get the tabs of all the exercises that I've covered in this video and additional ones too that are going to help you target those muscles, well, I got that for free. All you need to do is visit the link below, enter a valid email, and I'll be sending you the, the tabs in PDF format and also in Guitar Pro if you have Guitar Pro. Also, subscribe to this channel. I've got a lot more videos coming soon. And you can also watch the videos that appeared magically on this screen. They're pretty good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, practice well.